What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're in the garage. Today we're doing something on the actual Spoon ES1. Um, nothing big, although as you guys know when I did spin the bearing on the, the motor that day going to Cayuga, uh, I tore off the front splitter. And although I do like the way the car looks without it, just the front lip, looks phenomenal. But it's missing something. Although I do not want to do another front splitter because it's just a hassle to do an oil change and everything. I've come with something great. But someone's going to be giving me a hand tonight. And the good old Kevy G. What's up YouTube? And uh, we're going to show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing. Big thanks to uh, Josh and Rick at Garage 16. I don't mind, I'm just trying to pull it out. Pause. So, I ended up getting carbon fiber winglets. And we're gonna try to make this work, which will probably 100% make it work, on the Spoonius one. These are for a BMW E46. And everything on the Spoonius one's been custom made to fit because people don't show seven gens the love that they deserve. So we're gonna test it out. Probably gonna rip off the whole front bumper. We're gonna put it right over there on top of the trunk with the tarp obviously on top so we don't scratch up anything and test fit everything. So. Let's get to work. All right, guys, as you can see, we, hold on, Kev, let me pull the tarp down. Okay, so we pulled off the front bumper. Beneficial thing about having quick releases, there's some clips. So I don't have the screws that go on, on this side that mount into the body of the car. So what I'm thinking of doing for next season, grab another two quick releases like these from Grash 16 and do it off the side and uh, make life easier. But I'm going to get one of the winglets now. This would be the passenger side, so perfect. Kev's going to line it up, and we're going to show you exactly how it looks. Don't have much of a big lip. Well, it's just like the Mugen ES3. The lip was very small, too. The only thing you have an issue here. It's damaged. So it's this side. Yeah, that's from when the splitter ripped. So here's the damage from when the splitter ripped off. So chunk of the lip and missing from those two spots and those two spots over there. But we can make it work. More down, right there. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, so, that's what it's going to look like. Well, that's really aggressive. I like that. I just got to get a marker now to make the marks so Kev can drill them. Give me one second. All right, guys. So, Kev's going to tape the bottom of the front lip. So that way when we make our mark with the permanent marker, I was going to say pencil. Uh, once we make our mark, It'll uh, be able to easy to see to, well, I just got tongue tied. But it'll be easier to see so when we drill them out. As you see, Kevin's a master taper now. The amount of times he's had to drill stuff out on the EG. Also, this is the little incision Mercer made when we took it to the shop to put the spoon toe strap through. I was heartbroken that he cut the front bumper, but it came out beautiful. Uh, Kevin G's recommending that we get the lip capped in carbon fiber or order the carbon fiber one or leave it flat black is my suggestion with the contrast of the carbon guys i would love to have your opinions on the comments down below let us know what do you think i should do leave it flat black with the carbon winglets or do everything carbon just let us know five minutes later okay guys so we've made our marks mark one mark two Three and four. Now we're gonna get the drill. We're gonna get the drill ready. We're gonna get the drill ready. Start drilling up the one side. Uh, originally we were thinking we we're gonna have a little bit more tucked in, but because I have like that much meat on the bottom of the front lip, so it's gonna stick out a little bit, like almost like the splitter, but not as much as the splitter. Um, I think it's gonna look good. Worst case, if it doesn't look good, you just take it off. But I'm pretty pretty confident it's gonna look good. Uh, just to fill something on the bottom, you know what I mean? 
guys enjoy. Also, we still have some Just Send It beanies available. $25 plus shipping. Uh, anywhere you guys want. If you guys want, hit me in the DMs. They're very comfortable, very nice, and good quality material. I don't like cheaping out on material. I like to spend the money where it's right because ultimately you're wearing and you got to feel confident with what you're wearing. So we're going to get back to work. This is a short little quick vlog. Um, just because I feel bad that we haven't done nothing on the Spoonius one since it broke. And I got some other things I ordered for the Spoonius one aside from the engine. I already got half of the engine stuff that I need for it. Uh, but exterior stuff, I'm going to be eliminating some stuff, adding some stuff, uh, potentially changing the overall look of the car. Uh, it's one of those things that, fingers are crossed, that uh, it comes out good. But, yeah, get to it. It's got his fitting, or his uh, bit. That was nice. Yeah, very nice look. Look, YouTube. Oh, let's focus on that. This guy never sees to me. Why do you always cut yourself when you drill stuff? Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, because there's the we don't have no health and safety here. <laughs> Two for two. All right, all right. That's the one that we're very unsure of. But I think it's going to come out good. Oh, yeah. One more, buddy. One more. I love it. I mean, like, I could have ordered another front lip, but because there's no physical damage on the outside, it's just those four spots where the splitter ripped off, really made no sense to order another front lip. Unless everyone says, Paul, you should do a carbon fiber spoon front lip, then I'm going to have to cough up the 300 and change and order a carbon fiber lip. But the only thing I hate about the carbon lips, because I used to have a Type R carbon lip, and it looked nice, but the one thing that cheesed me the most is where it wraps around the bumper right here. See how much meat the, the poly lips have, right? Because you can manipulate it and play with it. But the carbon one was just like like that much. You you couldn't really do much with it. And I got mad. I scrapped that, sold it, and then just picked up a regular poly front lip from Grash 16 because he's the best. This one's really close. All right, guys. So Kev's drilled it out. That's so far how it looks. It sticks out quite a bit. It is a massive winglet. Like it covers perfectly, like almost right up to the edge of where the lip is. The design, like I, I like it. Kev, that's different. Gotta get used to it a little bit, no? Yeah. Yeah, this part here, but whatever. Well, yeah, it's, oh, I don't want it to really go all the way here. Then I'd have the same issue. If I went over here, I'd have the same issue because right over here is where the splitter used to smack the most. So I never actually hit the splitter on the side, so it'll be perfect. The car's always had a nice ride height. But, yeah, the bolts that we got, I think they're stainless steel. I might have screwed up and grabbed galvanized, but it's okay. Um, in the spring, I'll switch them out nice uh, to the nice Grush 16 dress-up kit uh, because you know Grush 16 is a uh, is a plug for all things. All right, guys. So we went seven sixteenths bolts and washers and nuts. Uh, we already just ratcheted on the one. Not bad. I would probably do one more here. 
Because you're going to have that gap. Mm, not really. It's nice and tight. Look. No, oh. you can see the gap right here. Okay. You can see right through. It's going to be more flimsy. Oh, well, you need a little bit of flex on it. I'll see how it is when we actually start driving it. If we need to, it's just literally just drill a hole right through it. But I think the force should be more than enough. That's actually pretty sturdy, bro. Like, the lip has enough flex. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty content with that. We'll see it once we leave the driveway for the first time. Okay, guys, we've tackled the passenger side on it. Looks really good. Okay, uh, this is to probably put one more bolt and screw there. I kind of don't want to do it right now because I don't want to drill through the carbon. Uh, I want to see how it is next season. If it flaps too much, which I doubt it will, but if it doesn't, then I'll probably just put one for an extra support. Uh, guaranteed Mercer's going to be looking at this vehicle. You're an idiot. You should have done the extra one. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we might change our mind. I think we're going to do it. We'll see. Next yeah, we'll see. car's not going nowhere now. So. For now, four is good enough. Alright, it's parked until we tear the motor apart and uh, upgrade and fix what needs to be fixed. But uh, so far, I'm appreciating Kevin G's big hand because I broke all my bits and I gotta go buy bits. So he's lending us one of his bits and his, his hands, which he drilled. So we're gonna jump onto that next side, tape everything up, repeat the whole process. I'm not gonna record that because you obviously just saw this side. And then we'll show you everything completed and I'll try my best to get an image of it in the garage it's gonna be tight like the garage is winter mode right now like we got things tarped up and all that you know because it is uh winter pretty much here in Canada so let's get back to it 11 minutes later okay guys so Kevin's just drilling the fourth one we ended up making a new hole through the winglet because the existing hole landed right where the lip is broken like a piece of the chunk of the lip is missing so we just drilled one right over here um, we're gonna see how it holds up with four if we need to we're gonna add another one here and then over here we'll add another one so for now we're just doing the four it's looking good I'm gonna place it on top of the the roof of the car and we'll have a look and then we're gonna mount it so far so good really liking it really liking it I had to climb the steps to get you guys a better view because of uh, that side sitting on the rear window visor and obviously that's hovering over the window but guys that's what the winglets look like right now on the spooniest ones from bumper they actually added a little bit more weight to the bumper. It's quite noticeable, the, the weight difference, but I actually like it. It feels more complete, not so naked. Now, we're gonna mount it onto the car, but I really like it. Really, really like it. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Kevin did a phenomenal job drilling out these holes. We'll see next year how, how they hold up. Should hold up. I would just go maybe. So, by the time you guys are watching this, I've posted a picture of this uh, of what we were doing on Instagram, and Alto says I should put a big intercooler right in that opening right there. But I really love the NA life. Put an inner cooler just for the other. An inner cooler? Put an inner cooler. <laughs> All right, guys, we mounted the bumper. I'm telling you, I love quick releases. I'm gonna do two of them over here. I'm gonna tell Mercer that's what we gotta do. We're gonna do one here and one there, but I'll probably go black. I was gonna say silver, but Kevy G made a good point. The black will contrast nice on the on the the white. Man, I miss this car. Like guys, you can see the motor's still here. Everything's okay with the motor. Just gotta do the rod bearings or thrust bearing. I don't know what bearings. Maybe I might even have to change the crank. Because uh, this crank has had a spun bearing when it was an OEM motor. So we don't know. Uh, once we take everything apart and send it to Gord Bush is when we'll actually find out the full thing of it. 
pains me to see it, man. Like this, really miss driving it. But uh, we got the winglets on. That's just the lip flexing. Yeah, I think it's got this. I think this is going up just a bit. This is going nice and straight. Well, it's because this part of the lip probably got warped when I yanked everything. But it's just not a big deal. Guys, I wish I could give you guys a better look. Maybe in the coming weeks, I'll be able to roll it out. Not tonight, it's really dark. But, yeah, it's got a nice profile on it. Sorry, I can't give you a better shot. It's just really tight in the garage. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything for today's video. Carbon with the carbon looks pretty good. It does look good. Were you still thinking I should do the carbon front? I think if I do a carbon lip, it's probably going to be too much. Might be too much. I think the flat black with the carbon, I think it's just very nice. Yeah. Also, we're going to go, probably going to stick with Potenzas. I really love the Potenzas, but I'm going to go with a more meteor tire. Probably going to go with a 225 in the front for better traction. But uh, yeah, that's Spoonie's one, man. She's still looking good. Still looking good. That's going to be pretty much it for this video. Or else I'm going to keep rambling on. Uh, Kevin and I are just going to mess around in the garage for a little bit longer. And then, uh, yeah, back to work for this week. Closing off for a beautiful weekend. And that's pretty much it, guys. Always thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys share the, the content. Yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, just send it. Peace.